Mouthpiece ventilation is a kind of ventilation which uses a mouthpiece instead of a mask. And patients may get their breasts either passively uh, from the set back upright from the machine, or they may trigger the machine and use part or all of the volume they uh, get from the machine. Uh, it's usually uh, delivered by an angled plastic mouthpiece, but they may also use a straight, uh, what we call straw. Uh, either way, it works very well. Patients using MPV are mostly uh, neuromuscular patients, uh, including patients with uh, ALS sometimes, uh, but also patients with uh, chest wall diseases. Um, it has been tried even in patients with COPD and acute respiratory failure. So it's a, it's a whole array of, of patients. Uh, what's important for all these patients is that they have to be able to generate adequate PCA flows uh, with or without help from, let's say, air stacking or uh, mechanical assisted cuffing. Um, all these patients in need of MPV will have to use their home ventilation for at least 12 hours per day, uh, despite effective nocturnal ventilation. And they have to be able to, to grab the mouthpiece, to hold it in their mouth, so their bulb or muscles uh, should be good enough. Uh, and they have to, to seal their lips around the mouthpiece so that no air leaks away. And by that way, they uh, can be treated effectively. The only uh, contraindications uh, I can think of are patients uh, who have undergone uh, a laryngectomy or patients uh, who are uh, ventilated uh, invasively uh, by a tracheostomy uh, and use a uh, cuffed cannula, because then the air will not come into the lungs, of course. Patients need to be uh, cooperative. Um, they, they should understand what they are doing. They, they need to be taught uh, about MPV. Um, and they need, as I said before, uh, to be able to seal their lips around the mouthpiece so that there is no leak of air. Uh, they should have enough bulbar muscle force to keep the mouthpiece in. And very important, they should be able to have uh, uh, or to adequate, uh, adequate PCA flows uh, to generate uh, a cough and they should be able to clear their airways. Usually it's, it's used from the age of six, so young children may use it after instruction. Yes, if, if patients, uh, if proper patients are selected, if all requirements are fulfilled, and if patients are properly trained, uh, it's, it's very safe to use. It impacts their day-to-day -day life in a very positive way. Um, for instance, patients uh, who are on the ICU, they may be weaned to non-invasive ventilation uh, with MPV and instead of going to a nursing home with a cannula, they can return uh, home, which is quite important, I think. Um, uh, patients may improve their speech, improve eating, uh, improve swallowing, meanwhile decreasing uh, fatigue and dyspnea. Um, with MPV, patients usually don't need any assistance. So they stay or become independent. They don't need a carer anymore. Um, and with the mouthpiece around in a wheelchair, it's very easy uh, to, to, to take it and it, it's always nearby. They don't have to be afraid that it's far away. In addition, um, if, if you use uh, MPV, you don't have the disadvantages of a mask or a cannula. Uh, with a mask, people may be claustrophobic, but that of course never occurs with a small mouthpiece into, you, into your mouth and you neither have the problems uh, which you have with a, with a cannula. So altogether in our patients, um, uh, nearly all patients are very satisfied and glad they choose for it, uh, particularly if they are able to avoid a tracheostomy uh, by using MPV. Yes, there's quite some literature, uh, particularly in the last five years. Um, two articles I could recommend, two review articles. One is from uh, Garuti et al, uh, published in the Portuguese Journal of Pulmonology in 2014. And another review article is uh, by Pinto and co-workers 
which was published in Chronic Respiratory Disease in 2017. But there is much more to read. Uh, Michel Toussaint from Belgium uh, wrote some articles about mouthpiece ventilation, Annalisa Calucci, but if you type in mouthpiece ventilation, you will find a lot of literature nowadays.